Hi everyone, Julie Powell here. Thought I'd do a little tutorial on high speed sync splash photography that I did recently. Um, I had a lot of requests on how I did the setup and all the rest of it. So, um, so my camera gear, I use my Sony A7R III, my Tamron 28 to 75 mm lens on 33 mm, um, my Godox Speedlight, and also my Godox Trigger. But you could use any Speedlight or any camera, basically. It doesn't really matter that much. I also used a fish tank to drop everything in, a reflector to bounce light back and I used a tripod because it frees your hands up as well. And then fruit or veggies or even coke cans, pretty much anything you want to drop into the water and that's what you're going to be catching your action with. So for the actual camera settings, I had my f-stop at 6.3, my shutter speed at 1 one twenty fifth of a second, my ISO depending on between 1 and 200, and I use spot metering and also um, autofocus, which I use back, cut, back button focusing. Okay, so for the setup here, which you will see, um, I've got a, just a table set up and I've got some black fabric um, over the table. I had some, um, just some um, Perspex screens that I've clipped the black fabric to. And it's just something that I can, you know, throw in the wash afterwards. Um, then I've got my fish tank set up here, um, which... Um, I think it's like a 60 litre, so it's not a very big fish tank, hence why I've got some, I'm not using really, really big um, subjects to throw in there because I didn't want to sort of catch all the, the outside edge of the tank. If you had a bigger tank, obviously you could throw in bigger objects. Um, so, but I had that, um, <laughs> we'd already been using it a bit and lost a bit of water, so it probably started off at about, you know, two-thirds full um, and we did have to top it off a couple of times now I've also here which you can't see I have got my Godox um, speed light on a tripod or a light stand I should say um, and I've got my Godox trigger on my camera uh, which is what sets that off now I was using high speed sync um, so I had my camera set to um, high burst mode or high continuous mode. Um, depending on your camera, not all cameras have a high continuous or extended continuous or a burst mode that works with high speed sync. Um, so you just have to check that out on your camera. Um, I do on my Sony, um, my hubby had um, a Z6 Nikon, which could only do the the continuous shooting which was sort of five six frames a second um, and he also tried his um, Nikon D750 which seemed to work a bit better with the high speed sync so just talk about it with um, or check out your camera settings and um, yeah chat in groups or whatever if you have information on what can work so um, I had my camera set up on my tripod just so that it frees my hands up um, because I was basically shooting and throwing stuff in now I could have set up with a remote trigger or a cable trigger as well but I was standing fairly close so I just pressed the button to do it I also had a reflector here this is just a silver reflector so when my flash come through this way it bounced back to add a little bit more light to this side otherwise um, this side of my image was in a lot more shadow than I wanted um, so that's the basic setup for it um, I've got a little video so we just basically drop stuff in and hit the shutter button on the camera and captured the action so I had my speed light set to group A and channel 1 and the same with my trigger um, and I had it set to 132 power um, and on manual and just shot from there. So 
So once I've finished capturing all the shots that I want to, um, I took them into Lightroom and just did a little bit of a, a sort of a, a quick edit and a cull on my shots. Um, I also, before I took them into Lightroom, I did go through and just delete because I found, um, for instance, I had like 300 shots, I only brought about 50 of them in and I ended up with, say, 10 shots that were really good. So um, I did quite a bit of a cull because you'll find there's a lot that miss or sometimes if there's a misfire on the trigger, you get black shots, all of that stuff, obviously, you just don't want to keep. So just delete all of that. Then anything else that's left that you think might be really good, um, go into Lightroom or whatever you use to edit your images um, and go through and do a bit more of a cull and pick up just the choice images that you want to go through. Um, then just in Lightroom, um, what I did is I did go through um, and just did a bit of a tidy up. So this is what I said about the, the back of the fish tank and I've sort of got some reflections in there as well. So I just sort of cloned all those out um, and I also painted in just a little bit of black just on some of the, the edges on the back. Um, I little, did a curves layer to add a bit more contrast and um, I also added a high pass detail layer. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, it's pretty easy. Go down to your background layer, just hit duplicate, drag it up to the top, set it to linear or overlay, go to filter, high pass, set it to probably around two to three, just so that you're getting enough of the details without all the color and set to there and that gives you a whole heap of details now you can put a mask on it which is what i did and um, invert that and then just paint in what you want so just with a soft white brush you can just come in and paint in the the um, details of the splash and the bubbles and all the rest of it to bring it out so it's all beautiful so i didn't really alter any of the um, exposure i didn't alter any of the um, hue or saturation or anything like that i really just did a little bit of a contrast a little bit of a tidy up and um, also um, a high pass detail so that's it um, i loved working with the the bright colors like the red and the yellow and everything i found they really really popped against the black but you could use anything you want in the past <clears throat> we used i've done it before and we used batteries you know old ones that don't work anymore um i even had an old flip phone that i used um all sorts of things that you can throw in there so um the options are endless so go have fun Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.